man Jif, no space. DK Welcome back to game DK. number two. DK versus Tong Fu and DK, well, they played Tong an outstanding Fu's game the last pick. game. They had Timber Soul and they crushed it. So this time they're gonna have some mercy. They're gonna ban out the mech units. They're gonna ban out the mech strat. Timber Soul, Clockwork, all removed. They instead pick up another good hero, Visage, will be the will be the hero of choice here. Tong Fu. On the other hand, we'll pick up, uh, we'll ban out Bristleback as well as Alchemist for them. So very, very helpful. Uh, DK usually bans out the Alchemist themselves, but now they will decide to remaining. allow Tongfu to ban it for them instead. And I'm like Tong Tenazunora, Fu's guys, giving your pick. English broadcast. Rubik gonna be the first pick here once again by Tongfu, and I'm not so sure they should pick up another support here. Rubik's nice, you want to secure that one support, fine, but you don't really want to pick up both supports because by doing that, you lock down your supports to the roles they are made to do, and you can't react as well when it comes to responding to an enemy drop. And now they pick up the Doom for themselves, so they are gonna, to they're gonna borrow the pentagram, DK. We'll see what their response is to this. I'll really love to see a Wraith King against those lineups where they are very heavy reliant, uh, heavily reliant on their ultimates. Because Wraith King is just a nice hero in general, and if you surprise pick it, he can be a very surprise, a very powerful hero to deal with. And you can actually run a Wraith King as a support as well. He has a good stun, and with that base remaining. intelligence boost, Ice Frog has allowed him to cast his stun twice at level one. So he's a very Five good ganker. Remaining. And now we'll see. If Reserve we'll see if the DK do decide to pick him up. Wraith King really doesn't get enough love and we'll see what they decide to pick up here. It could be a Gyrocopter. Gyrocopter often seen with Visage due to that flecking. Uh, the flag can yeah, flag can actually racking up a lot of soul sums and charges. No, they pick up the OD. So that once again they go with the Protoss hybrid type units. I like to call them that. If any of you guys have played StarCraft, you'll know that the Protoss hybrid units have these kind of looks. And you never know, they are from the alt world after all. So they might have come from somewhere there, you know, from Aya and all that. But Outward Devourer, Outhouse Decorator, it's gonna be Mushi's hero of choice, and he does play this hero pretty beastly. And remaining. one of the things I'd like to speculate right now is of course Doombringer going middle against Outworld Devourer, because Doom, he has mana problems, yep, yeah? bear with me. And if he goes there with a magic stick, and, and Mushi just constantly banishes him, it helps DK's Doom. Turn to it helps Doom regenerate his mana because of the magic state. You banish him off, Tong Fu's turn to and ban. when your mana cap gets real low, you just use the magic stick charges to just pump it up to full. And when the intel comes back, you have the mana for your your spell casting again. And because you are a very tanky bugger, you don't die to his right clicks. You have a high damage. Uh, you have a high last hit Ten damage. So. Remaining. Right click damage, so you will be able to last it properly. And now there's the Elder Titan removed here, so they don't want to make Doom any more squishy than he already is. And it's gonna be the Razor band out here, and the Nyx Assassin as well. So I really like to see how Doombringer runs up against the OD. And we'll see. Yep, the Mirana. Oh, we removed as well. Outworld Devourer into Mirana. Pretty nasty as well. And Zong Fu, they have to take their draft out a little bit more carefully. They made a little bit of a problem. It made a little bit of a made a little bit of a drafting mistake there in game number one. I think that's what really costed them. You can see Tong Fu's um, so was thinking real hard before picking up the Garakopter. Like he knew it wasn't a great pick, and it definitely was not. And in the end, he was Ten forced to lean very, very, very weirdly. And now, we'll see. It's one zero in favor of DK. What what do the bets say? What do the bets say? Time. Wow, a lot of people don't trust in so. LD will be very disappointed. It's 72 to DK, 28 DK's for Tong Fu. To Whoa. Okay, it is a lot of rares on the line. A lot of rares. Alright, so everyone, a lot of DK fanboys here. I myself just like a good upset. I always like upsets. Upsets are amazing because that's when all the tears start to flow. And whoa, oh, 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 is that when the best trolling starts? Chen is going to be the choice of hero here for Tong Fu. So this means laning doom. What Ten Ten type of doom remaining. is it? Is the question mid doom, hard carry doom? Five seconds remaining. Off lane doom. Xiao It likes to run his off lane doom. It does do pretty well uh, in time. certain circumstances. And DK still have yet to choose another hero here. What will they take it? What will they fix for the hero? I want to see what Ice Ice Ice's hero is. What about Invoker Carl? 
Carl is a good idea to. Carl would be a good idea here. I'd like to see Invoker. At least one Invoker game. And please, Sunstrikes, not the Zoo Invoker, the Sunstrike Invoker. 360 MLG no scope. That would be the one I want to see. But at this point, DK really still have a lot of options for them. They have the mid out wall, they have the side lane out wall if needed, but uh Tom Well well, it's red ice ice ice. So Ice 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 is gonna play the Nature's Prophet. Something that he doesn't do very flashy things with, which is kinda sad. Oh well the flashy part is he does die on the offlate uh quite often. But He's a very annoying Nature's Prophet player. He blocks you constantly with the Treants, and he's just really annoying in general. Visage is gonna be played by MMY remaining. and or Lanham, and we'll have one, some, someone else remaining. to defend the Visage. DK's I don't know who actually matches pick. up very well with Visage. Anyone with a stun, I guess, will actually do pretty well. Gyrocopter is a possible choice here. Burning does play a good Gyro. Uh, does nah. Actually, no one plays a good Gyrocopter, to be very honest. I think Gyrocopter has kind of fallen out with the current meta of picks, and now we have a Slark. So, Ice Frog. Yes! Yes! Turn to bad. Yes! Yes! Mr. Wong. Carl. Uh, Mr. Wong is. Wong Shang Shin is actually uh, the Korean version of Invoker, and Carl is the jokey name for Invoker. And Ten yes, we get remaining. him. Yes, we do. Ice 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 is gonna play Invoker, and we'll be burning Nature's Prophet. And Slark remaining. is gonna be the choice of pick here for Tung Fu. It's gonna be a um, mid Slark, most Reserve likely. Time. Maybe mid Slark. I don't know. But Invoker, yes. Exciting game. 360, no scope, please. Uh, it could be an offlane slug as well. It's most likely an offlane slug. Slug is pretty nasty against Nature's Prophet. You really can't. Um, you really can't deal too much hurt to slug, and he can do a lot of hurt to you. And now they're gonna ban out the Sand King. Mm, interesting. They ban out Sand King. Sand King is something Lanham can and uh, Lanham or MMY can play pretty well as well. DK, what the last ban? What their last ban is gonna be really depends on what they want to choose here. Rubik Chan Slug. Do they think it's a trial in Slug like remaining. what Miracle would do? Or will they play the offlane Slug, trial in the Doom? Five or will they solo remaining. mid Doom? And Rubik Chan uh, plus another carry. So, probably Reserve doesn't play time. Slug Doom. I could be wrong. They could pick up a mid hero here. They could pick up a queen. Or. No, a queen will get destroyed by Outworld. So, what am I talking about? Probably not a queen. Puck, it's possible. But this means Invoker will be safe lane. Uh, well, they will slightly mid. Or they could swap it. The problem with playing against DK is you can never guess their lanes. You pick stuff like that. You would think that Ice 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 is Nature's Prophet. And then, hey, hello, it's the guy in the white suit. So they ban out Venomancer. Tom Fu's hmm. turn to pick. They ban Vano. Interesting choice. Are they going to pick up a TA now? I don't think so, love. So, I don't think so. They are not going to try that. Visage, Invoker. Oh, Versace Invoker is pretty powerful alone, and maybe if you want to jungle your Prophet, you could go for something else in off lane like a clock. Uh, it's really out of the ordinary. Uh, what about an Earthshaker? Earthshaker could be possible. Lanham plays remaining. a mean Earthshaker. Pick Medusa. <laughs> I hear calls for Medusa time. in chat. Well, I don't think so. Don't think so. Alright. We'll see. Tongfu. Mid Slark? Mid Hero or Hard Carry? What do you want? Yeah, the Zoo Strat's incoming. Ooh! Ho ho ho! Oh, so! The new LeBron James! Oh man. I'm waiting for the chat to erupt. Yeah, Enchantress is a possible pickup here for Lanham. Guys. When are you gonna explode? I'm waiting, still waiting for the chat. It's a little bit delayed here. Oh man, so. Ten seconds remaining. Okay, okay. Five seconds. What remaining. in the hell? Dd dd. Pure damage from Outwall will cause some trouble for Huska. But on the other hand, this could work out. I really want this to work out. Because, 
I want this to work out. Oh, we'll, we'll see what DK response it is. I think right now an Enchantress pick would be very, very, very Five justified. Pure damage me. is what you want. But one thing to note, of course, yeah, Enchantress. So one thing to note, of course, Visage does really well against against Haska because the Visage familiars can do a lot of burst, uh, burst, burst, yeah, burst physical damage. But we'll see how well. Oh, solo mid Haska. Okay, solo mid Haska, and this is interesting. Okay, 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 we're gonna rub our hands together and smile, but yeah, Asuka, in the grand final, pocket shred anyone? We'll see how this one works. DK, I want to see DK get crushed just because I want to see a Asuka get a 100% win rate. Is this the first time he has been drafted? I don't think so. Is it? Is it the first time? 10 seconds remaining. I will not forgive Joe if he uh, so if he does um, mess this one up. All right, we're gonna jump into the game now. It's gonna be Tongfu versus DK. Tongfu with the money strats and now new meta. Burning gonna drop it here. Immediately Prepare runs in here with the battle. boots, with the observer wards, instant TP, and to block. So he's probably gonna cliff jungle. Nah, he's gonna lane as a prophet. So on the side of Tongfu, we have ZSMJ on the Chen, Shansheng on the Rubik, Kabu on the Doombringer, Mu on the LeBron James, Zhou on the Slark, and last but not least, we have the DK squad, Ice Ice Size with his new pimped out self forged armor. How do you forge hair, man? Seriously. So confirmed, Ice Ice Size balding needs a new wig. Mushi is gonna be the solo mid. Solo mid OD? He went for Null Talisman and Tango is almost likely going to mid. Uh, I don't know what is the issue here. So, But it could be just going to side lanes. That Lanham is going to be on the Enchantress. It will be burning on the Prophet. And MMY going to be playing the Visage. 30 seconds to battle. And immediately all the wards already dropped down here. So ZSMJ is up to him to see if he can deep ward this in time. Shanqing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Everyone aboard the hype train. The battle begins. La -la -la -dum -dum -dum. All right, move. Solo mid, first point, burning spears. I don't know how Haska builds it. From what I know, he goes for. Oh, what a noob! He went for burning spears. He should have gone for circus blood and life steal. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go into the game now. He picks up Burning Spears, gonna harass Ice 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 the hell out of lane. And it's quite dangerous. If he goes for boots first, he didn't go for boots first. He has 300 movement speed over the 280 here of the of the ice ice of the ice 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 focus. So we're gonna see. And he's gonna run with high ground and say, hey. Hey. Hey hey. And Ice 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 is gonna tick down a lot from this. <clears throat> Kabu on that offlane Doombringer is not gonna have any fun at all. But Moo is going to have loads of fun, he's just going to toss Burning Spears left and right. And ZSMJ did manage to ward, but I think this blocks your camp. We'll see. Pretty sure this blocks your camp. Yeah, it does. So, okay. As I know, this bloody camp is extremely difficult to... Uh, this bloody camp is extremely difficult to... Uh, to pull from because of this big box here that blocks up the camp. So we'll see what happens here. So it does have his computer to lag. So that's gonna be a problem. Yeah guys, once again, the HUD is not my doing. It is the tournament provided one. Cliff jungling nature's profit. What a player. Kabu. Stout shield. Two iron branches. Alright. Okay, I'm very excited to see what Haska can do here. Doombringer, of course, is going to have a little bit of suffering here. A lot of DCs. A lot of DCs here. So we'll see if Tso can actually get back into this. Alright, I'm going to check out the OD. Actually, going for Null Tasman. Alright, Doom comes back into the game. Come on, come on, don't waste my time. We don't need Slark anyway with all eyes on Mu. If Tongfu wins this, you know what song I'm gonna play, guys. You know what song I'm gonna play. K. 
damage. Alright, there we go. G. <coughs> ice, ice, ice. So really not having a lot of fun here. Can you just imagine the amount of hurt that Mu could have laid down if he had went for boots first? Oh, Ice Ice Ice, he could die here, yeah, he, I, I, oh no, why is the tower shooting him? This is not fair, tower should not shoot him, he was technically up walking. So Ice Ice Ice, if, if the tower had not turned aggro on him, he could have gotten that kill I think. Because Ice 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 is slower, you would have able to stack up those, um, those flaming spears, we'll see what happens from here. I'm really just going to keep my eye on, on Huska, uh, Slark has 2 points and pounce. Nice, nice, nice. If he had a sun strike there, he would have gone for it. Now the Sator does come in here attack. to give a little bit of problems for him. Hadouken! And it does hit a move at the back there. And now he'll pass himself the boots, and now Ice 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 should be giving this guy a white berth. And there's a regeneration up top. If anyone wants to claim it, and now Mu's just gonna high ground Ice Ice Ice, toss the flames here over, and Chen says, You are mine now. Stop serving that. Stop serving that girl. And Ice 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 gonna take an Hadouken back in the face. MMY, just hanging around here with Mushi, the two Protoss hybrids uh, gonna sit there. Uh, uh, and here we go. Oh, oh, Ice Ice Ice, is there boots on him? Is there boots? Yes, there is boots on him. So he's gonna run away. Boots, very, very important against Huska. You do not want to be run down. This is one of those heroes that if you get run down, you die. That's pretty much it. And now Huska is gonna go back. He's level 4 now, waiting for that key level. Generation, and it's gonna just probably shoot that. Now yeah, it's gonna pick it up. Regeneration. Regeneration. Gonna feel good. Enchantress, what's he got now? What fancy stuff? He died. He sends a tomato to its death. And Ice 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 is gonna try and get as much last as here in the middle lane. He got cold snap now, so that's gonna be helpful in case Ice in, in case Haskell decides to dive him. Gonna take a tower shot. Nope, tower is gonna ignore that. Sunshine. We'll check out the last hits while we leave the lanes away. Prophet is three and zero. Twenty for Slark. Mu, 16 and 6, 11 for the Enchantress, and how's OD doing 18, alright. So now that we've all settled those little formalities, we're gonna go back here, Mu, go, man fight, man fight, go, go, go! No, there was a burning spear on the wrong guy. Smoke gank, Ice Ice Ice, about to feed here. Sunstrike, available here for Ice Ice Ice. No, it's Forge Spirit, so Forge Spirit's into Cold Snap, very, very Shots standard combo. Short sighted, more like Dyer's short range. Bottom tower is under fezzle, attack. fezzle, fez. Alright, Ice Ice Ice, about to get dunked here. Get dunked, fools. Here we go, Alpha Wolf to jump here first. Dyer's Alpha Wolf, Alpha Wolf, Cold Snap attack. as well. This could be Moon's death actually, Moo has to be very very careful here. He's gonna wrap the high ground, this is not a good idea. He's gonna munch on a tango, but here comes Enchantress with the counter jungle gang. Enchantress gonna be tossed back, let him in a little bit of trouble. Sunshine, where is my 360? No scope! Oh, slows him down. Ice Ice Ice, Sun Strike! No scope! Oh, misses up the high ground! RNGs is on his side as usual. Uh, no, not on his side as usual. In the mid lane, the miss up the high ground is a 25% chance. Apparently, 25% chance, but actually, it's 75, close to 100. You always miss on the kills, on the hits you need to hit. And well, Sunshine is going to be praying to the RNG gods. There's their Sunstrike number 2. 5 seconds left on that, but I think Invoker will not reach the base in time. And Namu. This is the best pub game I've ever played, uh, watched. Now move. he's got 3 points in that Burning Spear. He's going to look to jump on someone, he's going to dunk some fools. The Sun Strike is going to miss there. Ice 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 just taking pot shots. Why the hell not? Because... Oh, but burn. Uh, but Mu is going to hit level 6 soon. And he has to be very very careful there, Ice Ice Ice. Middle on his way to get dunked, Kabu is going to sit round the side. Walk round the side there and just threaten Ice Ice Ice. Just a fair bit. What are all these sentry wars doing here? Got to be de -warding. Now Mu. Now Mu. He's gonna hit level 6 very soon and he'll be dunking soon. We have to get him. Okay, now he's level 6. Force Spirit's gonna be set on him. The Flame Spears will be going out on the Force Spirits. The Force Spirits will go down. Ice 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 knows. It's not a good idea to sit near this creep. Someone's gonna get dunked. Here we go. It's Dyer's coming. Get hyped! Is under attack. Get hyped. I don't wanna miss the first dunk. Missing first dunk is worse than missing first blood in this game. 
All right, keeping all eyes on Moo. Burning comes down here. Looks like they want to pressure top. I think they want to stick as five now. Ice 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 knows that the um, the Husker is here now, and he will not be able to go near the lane. And Husker is just gonna try to face all Ice Ice Ice. Go go go! No, not gonna dive on the tower. Radiant's Definitely not. Top tower is under attack. And now now how about now? No no no. Okay now it's not a good time. Now not a good time. Moo, what you doing? Moo, stop! Why Moo? Why did he lag? First blood. What? As indeed I am first in Moo, please. You will be removed from NBA for that. Match fixing is not allowed by NBA. Nice hoof stomp there. Gonna be on Sunshine. Gonna toss up the Centaur. Centaur is gonna stomp on the rest of his team. The Sun tried to follow and now it's gonna be Kabloom. Oh wow, lose a lot of your life. Suddenly get your soul assumed. And he's gonna go down there. So, I'm not so sure what the Husker was doing there. And Slump latches onto Lanham. He's gonna go for a mass amount of heals. Who's Stomp once again? Gonna be stolen by the Enchantress. Big plays from Lanham. Now move. Dunk him! Dunk, dunk, dunk. MMY gets that dunk. Oh, first guy to go down. What a three pointer there by Moo. Finally getting his ultimate right. And MMY, the poor guy is gonna flap to the ground and die. But Invoker, meanwhile, getting first blood is gonna be very, very helpful. Now he has face boots, a lot more mobility on the board, as well as the gloves of haste. It's gonna go to his Midas. Burning, on the other hand, picks up his face boots. He's gonna be learning from Ice 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 here. Not gonna rush the Midas like Bulldog normally does. Instead, gonna try and be contributing to his team with that early face boots right click. Or maybe just tower chipping. The tower down bottom does fall. We'll be keeping an eye here on Husker. Husker, we did miss first dunk, so that was pretty worth it. And now, Kabu doing the Harlem shake. This is what it's doing. Dyer's top tower Bushy, is gonna wrap around attack. the bend. He's gonna get latched there, but no dunk! Gonna get dodged there. So one of the other things. So a little bit of an oversight there. Bushy's gonna get a lot of flames on his back. Is there a pounce? Is there a pounce? Is there a pounce? There is a pounce. 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 Now Lanham gets caught by the pounce. So he's gonna sacrifice his own life instead. And it's gonna go down. Doombringer does get him down with the soul. Uh, with the with the scorch earth. And now he will munch and munchy on that duck throw. Mushy is gonna look for a kill here. He drops the ultimate here on Doombringer. Not the wisest idea there, but Ice Ice is back to save the day. Moo's gonna get caught there. LeBron James goes down. Kabu dropping down low as well. Raffle Nature just helping out there. So does have his ultimate, you might want to use that. Where is my sun strike? Not gonna land. And Ice 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 knows that he's not within the trash hole to kill attack. just yet, but he's gonna. Oh, yeah, he's out of mana as well, so that's another problem. Rubik in the middle lane, meanwhile. Rubik on the lane, you know, he's gonna back off there, allow some of that. Oh, sun strike! Right click! Oh, that's dodging that. The Forge Spirits, one more click from the Forge Spirit will get it, but nope, Tim Burton Spirit will not kill him off. And in fact, ZSMJ now gonna return the chicken. Now you're gonna use that tornado to chase Burning off the lane. Burning's level 6 now, gonna hit level 7. MMY summons his familiars. And LeBron James, man, needs, needs more kills. Needs more kills. Kabu, Arcanes, Buckler. Mushy. Yes, Buckler as well. So Mushy is going to be the doctor for this game. And Earner Shadows and Power Treads up for Moo here. No Ghost Scepter. Hopefully he doesn't go for that. I'll see what he goes for. I mean, Husker without Ghost Scepter has been changed quite a bit. Dyer's middle tower Kabu. is under attack. Now Moo's gonna be taking some time on the farm. Looking at looking look at last hits. It's 52 to 23 for Mushi, it's 47 for Slark, 41 for the um, Husker. Uh, Invoker is sitting at a 29 because he had to play very conservative there. As he was being pressured. If he got dunked there, he would have died. Now damage. now would be the smoke up. They're gonna smoke right no the observers on the low ground. So you will not see this coming. They're gonna try and jump ice ice ice. And will they get Daryl Cole? Daryl Cole. Alright. You can see, you can see Ice Ice Ice, they'll spot him out, they're gonna wrap around the bed, and Asuka is gonna dunk his face. There we go. From downtown, let him get it caught there, and Chantra's proink this! Nope, he tries to smoke, panic smoke. He's gonna go down there, try and dunk that, and now the soul assumption will fly up, block up, uh, damage up Kabu a little bit. Hand of God coming out, uh, okay. Not the most impressive, but Slark catches out MMY, and now the Dark Pack is gonna drop him down low as well. Slark! 
cleaves him with the shiv, and we'll get him done. 5-4, Centaur gonna be chasing Ice Ice, Ice 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 Ice, Panic Mode, activate, Sunshine gonna lift him up, slow Invoker, all those fashion, really costing you now. No ghost, no ghost walk for him because... Oh, he actually get this? No. No ghost walk for him because no wax, so he probably will wanna... Uh, he probably will wanna get some point in waxes now. And uh, meanwhile, a lot of heroes from the dire side. Oh, Slark! Is there any stun? No stun. So, come on, dunk it back to the fountain. I would have loved to see that fountain dunk. So, got to farm this peak wave so far. I Tong Fu has been doing pretty okay. XP graph favoring them about 1006. About 500 gold in favor of them. So, it's not that big a gold lead, but they did get a big kill there. Not taking any objectives just yet. They're going to wrap around and get that. No, well, not really wrap around, but they're just going to charge on front and take it. Attack. Meanwhile, they have to be careful of trades here. Familiars and a lot of TP scrolls coming in. Prophet trying to rat down bottom. Burning has not left his lane just yet. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And now they're going to bring down its tower down. Chicken, gonna come here as well to kind of get this tower. Chen gonna get that. Dyer's so that's gonna be an early, early match. He went for arcane boots first because he, he realizes his team does need it. Attack. And now uh, DK is gonna gonna counter attack and destroy this tower. They do bring her. Oh, be careful. And he's gonna munch on a creep. So I'm oh, gonna be okay. Zed is MJ. Very close to his mechanism. Still point. You need two, two plus K for that. Oh, it's going straight for Black King Bar. Ogre Club on him. And so he knows he spots it out. Immediately gonna back off that. Pause once again from him. So they're having a lot of PC problems for so, but so far this game has been turning out not so bad. I want to see more Haska. Yoren Diu Bao. Someone's dropping dropping packets, I think. Yeah, someone's dropping packets. We'll see what's happening here, and hopefully it doesn't mat It doesn't get too bad. We're gonna check out the net worth. Three of them actually in DK's favor again. So DK are really out farming their opponents. But the zoo gaming coming out from Ice 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 and his rest of his buddies are gonna be a little bit a little bit tough for them to handle. Huska doesn't do too well against physical right clicks and with Necro Books and Enchantress Spears and Enchantress Creeps, Visage, OD, I think this was a bad game to play Huska to be honest. But hey, be glad that Huska was picked, but I really want Huska to win this game. So they have OP Slark as well. Balance Slark. The Ballad Crawler, Night Balance. Six four now. Like I said, my predictions are three one. So either way, but very likely now it's gonna be uh, favoring DK of course. DK obviously the stronger matchup in this one. Big shout out to all you guys in chat for tuning in on this rainy evening for me. It's a raining evening, and I'm really glad to class DK versus Tong Fu is the Feng Yun Grand Finals best of five. Hope he goes to five games, but as of now, it's looking pretty DK dominant. But Tong Fu are looking stronger stronger in this game number two and i've been solo casting this so far might co-cast with someone later on but for now it's just me hope you guys enjoy it so far mushy mechanism is ready chen will have it soon as well so they take a little bit of track to the dial jungle will not find anything much find a regeneration no one's gonna pick that yet they're gonna go into roshan now so top dk with the medallion they're gonna just chip away at this rosh they'll get a free ages i think no one's in contesting Radius tier one in the middle is still up, so that's gonna be another thing to note. Regeneration. Roshan, Roshan goes down. That let him just dial. close enough for the AXP. He's level seven now. He's still very vulnerable to dunks. No untouchable. Yeah, he's got some untouchables now, but the attack speed coming out from Huska is gonna be very, very strong. And that push has been stopped there. Wrath of Nature, just so good. And what did you do to that tower? It's just a little bit of visual bug. Uh, now Wushi, some damage items maybe, burning, running out of mana, Midas is ready, use it, yes, you will. Wraparound gank, it's gonna be the name of the game, patience from Toe, oh, patience from Toe, nope, no patience from Kabu, no patience at all from Kabu, and, well, that's gonna be a converted creep now, ZSMJ still covered, and they're gonna find a free familiar, they're gonna stun all three neutrals, and, Smoke gank is not gonna work out for them. So so had patience, Kabu didn't have patience, so he's gonna get a slap across the cheek Dyer's for that one. Tower and tower gonna take a little bit of damage. Fade ball does hit eyes eye size, reduces damage to plus one. Dyer's structures are fortified. Do the Harlem shake. Yep. Gonna stun that up, so the Fizzage Familiar is oh, gonna do some stun. All dude. are healed. 
for some reason. I don't know why would you blow it so fast. Uh, maybe they'll take a little bit of chip damage. And now Enchantress, as well as Chanda, ever going Holy War against the animals. And now the Force Spirits fighting on the side fallen. of the Chen's army. Radiance bottom tower so I'm not even sure who's at who's now burning. And Slark, Slark gonna caught out here. Mushi, Mushi has to be very, very careful. Why did they not go for Mushi? Mushi is out of mana. He could actually Radiance die here. He's gonna bump into Chen, the man. Chen, the man. But now Mushi is back at base. He's gonna work to all his four stuff. He has the makings of a Dagon. No, he's not. He's going to buy the book. So it's going to be Zeus Strat. Coming out for DK. And this is really looked down upon. XP Graph going to dip down back to zero. And Dyer's gold advantage going to go back up in favor of the Radiant again. So all is all going to be balanced. There's an Observer Ward. Very aggressive Ward from DK. The Forge Spirits once again going to do this chip damage. And once you drop low enough, it's going to be able to Sun Strike you. Now he drops into Radiant's Sun Strike range. Is under attack. So the mechanism keeps him up, and nice, nice, nice. So just looking for a kill there. Meanwhile, so on the slark, MMY with the medallion of courage, magic stick, and Mu gonna take some time to farm there. Hasn't been doing enough dunking, I must say. He is very low armored as well, so that's something else to worry about. Double damage here. For Ice Ice Ice, he's got the Ages of Immortal, he can afford to die a little bit. Mushi, all of them are going for books. So, anyone not going for a book? Yeah, everyone are going for, everyone's going for a book. And this is not something Huskar can deal with. The zoo strategy is incoming. The four spirits constantly stand out there, and now they're going to be fighting here. More spirits are just a little bit too tanky, I feel. Uh, 600 health now, and they're going to be resummoned. Ice 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 is going to continuously summon them, scout out the enemy uh, with his overlords. <laughs> Lanham, going to work towards his algorithms. Burning, what's he buying? Yeah, he's the buying book. Why am I still asking myself that? Everyone is buying the yeah, same yeah. bloody thing. But now Slark is actually sitting at the top of the network without Midas as well. So it's so releasing the burden from his team, trying to carry them uh, to victory. The Husker is also the Doom. All sitting around at 5,000 is not spectacular. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, nearly, nearly. Stolen Forge Spirits here from Rubik. <laughs> well, doesn't have cosmetics, what a scrub. Sunshine. Also, I was actually really, really confused there for a moment, but now I realize it was just Rubik's Lanham. He's gonna continue pushing up top with the help of Treants from Burning Bushy. He's gonna push down middle, and the Forge Spirits gonna be chased away by Rubik's Forge Spirits, but it's gonna be blown up by Mushi's orbs very very fast. So just diving really far because he knows he can get away with murder. The writer of the Necro Book should be getting a whole bunch of royalties to be honest. Someone should write the real Necro Book. So gonna TP out. Familiar's gonna try and stop it up, but it's not gonna happen. Smoked up animals. Animals going to do a little bit of pot uh, along with the three supports here. It's Kabu picks up an Ogre Club. Going for the BKB Mu as well. Ogre Club into Helm of Iron Will. So he wants to go for the Armlet. They, they don't see Mushi there. Oh, get down, fool! Lift up as well as the Chop. Look at a slow mo. But Haskell does run, does hit really really fast on low health, so he will get the get the kill on Ladam. So 74 now. DK are just really ratting this out. They're avoiding fights. Bushi. Roshan reclaims his ages in one minute. So, gonna use the banish here. I remember in Dota 1 the banish used to remove disruption as well as OD's banish. But I'm not so sure if it works in Dota 2. I remember something like that. I, I can't remember which, but so. Now gonna push down middle with his buddies there. Enchantress did die, but he's revived now. He's gonna hop away. Hop, skip, and a bop. Oh, something like that. Gonna be Dyer's pushing down the tier 2 tower, ages expires in 20 seconds, so Ice Ice Ice, where is your Kamikaze? He's not gonna do that, he's just gonna Radiant's rat, where is his book? Is it's flying attack. over to him. We've read Radiant the same book over and over, but the tier 2 will fall here, and the mid tier, the mid -tier will destroy Dyer's this entire creep wave and endanger this tower, to be honest. And now Slark is gonna come down here and try and attack. chase away Ice Ice Ice, there's a dark pack as well. And the dark pack, easy dark pack, where is the stun? No stun. So Ice 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 will not be able to kill it. The Necro unit actually doing a lot of damage to Toe there. He's gonna use his ultimate. A very, very big waste to be honest. Sunstrike! 
Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And now Zosi knows it's in safe zone, so he's not gonna try it anymore. Ice 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 didn't actually look to do that. Slot's really hard to aim down because he has that health regen that could be coming any second. The flame is gonna hit 400 pure damage, it's gonna land on Huska. But otherwise, he has the heal, he doesn't really matter to him too much. MMY gonna need his medallion to farm up some ancients. Move, please, dunk more. Where's that Academ Scepter? This could be an Academ Scepter, guys. Believe in the dream. Believe in the dream. But it's a little bit too much to ask in the first Huska game that I've casted. So, burning. Necronomicon 2. Necronomicon 1. Kabu is going to see a whole bunch of creeps here. It's going to munch on this. It's going to munch on this. Sprout into TP away. So, it's going to run away as well. MMY going to pull it out. And the Visage Familiar is just going to rat this up. So, really just ratting at this point. Four spirits just doing a lot of harm here. Got a bunch of that. Does he get it? No, he does not. Sunstrike! Got a miss there. So, well, not on the mark here. Maybe you should put on that scope. Don't go for that 360. And look at this. Nature Tentus. This is a very nice spell for Rubik to steal, to be honest. Familiar's gonna be Haste. hanging around the site. Hey, turn for Ice Ice Ice. Gonna run around, look for something. Nope, they're just gonna push four spirits. As well as the Necronomicon. So they're gonna try and wrap this up. Along with Burning and Midas. Mushy with Dyer's the book as well. All of them just buying attack. books. Playing nasty Dota. So I'm gonna take some right clicks. He has his BKB now, he's minus some armor. Moo! Still doing a bit of farming, that's not what Haskell should be doing, he should be dunking. But there's no one to dunk at the moment, so. He has to try again later. Whirlwing Ripper going to have a little bit of a back massage there by the familiars. They're going to give up now that they realize that the chicken is pretty immortal. MMY! Got to pick up that point booster at long last. Mushi picks up a second book. I'm so disappointed in these players. What have they descended into? It's a dark age for Dota, guys. Dark age, I tell ya. Now Doombringer going to be lying in the wake. They have 1,800 gold. And they're going to look for a kill here. Four spirits. Dark pack as well. They're looking for Ice Ice Ice. Ice 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 says, runny run. And he goes set the necro units on Slark. Slark's gonna lose a lot of his mana. Yep, Arcane Boots gonna try and keep him up, but Sunstrike to follow as well. He's gonna lose a lot of his health. And now the necro units will be a big enough deterrent. Is they gonna munch on one? Yeah, he's gonna munch on one of them. Come here! Yummy. And he's gonna eat that. Doesn't wanna take damage instead. Sunshine in a little bit of trouble. Where's my Sunstrike? The mechanism will come here. And give him a little bit of help. We're gonna lift up the familiars. That's how bad um, of a harassment these are. Just these alone, just buying so much space, so much time for Ice 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 to drop those sun strikes. Immediately pots home, doesn't want to get hit by any of sun strikes. And just doing this, they're wasting a lot of time now. They're losing a lot of their map control as time goes by. Dyer's but move, now he's gonna head in. He had enough of this. He's like, I'm gonna push this tower, I don't care. And Slot comes here, clears the wave, gonna cancel that aggro, and now we're gonna uh, strike down tier 2. But hey, Burning and Mushi says, okay, let's open Dyer's our books to page 300. Under and 39 Radiant's or something like that. What number was it? Mushi? Could be in danger here. 300. What was the page that Snape said? I remember now. It looks like Dark Pack doesn't remove you from prison. Healing, healing hand, hand comes out. But so, out of mana now. He lost 10 intelligence from that. But that's not the main issue. He's just gonna heal a whole bunch of creeps there. Ice 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 didn't get a kill out of that. But the, the tower does drop down pretty low. And. One more way for creeps can drop it down or bring it into deny range. Roshan gonna out, uh, gonna come up in about a minute, so they might want to contest this. Get some dunking action in there. Where's my BKB for Huska? Necro three for I for Mushi. And Od gonna look to wrap this up, but because of this, they will be punished in terms of their intelligence. Mushi doesn't have that huge intelligence to drop ultimates, but on the other hand, they will just chip away at towers non-stop. And let's see, Observer wards. Can be placed down here by the Rubik. Staff of Wizardry, Bracer, 1000 gold. 4 staff, maybe, most likely a 4 staff. Not gonna go for Arcanes anymore. And Mushi's just gonna Radiant's sit there, send his Necro units at the attack. tower, and he will get this tower easily. And Radiant's now they're gonna back off there. One an easy fallen. way to push things. And 33, 37 minutes in. So, he's gonna be farming up top with his Cranium Basher, Radiant's Skull Basher. He's gonna try and chase this attack. down. Oh no, it's a first hit bash, so RNG looking good for him. Roshan is back up, and with all this space making, 
they're just out of position to deal with this Roshan attempt. And of course the Dire side advantage just working out for them. And this strategy, the Zeus strat really works on Dire because it keeps giving you that extra Roshan attempt and you just keep taking it until you're very very far ahead. But now the goal Roshan is finally in the Dire side, the, the XP as well. And what have they been doing? They haven't been killing anyone, they've just nice. been constantly giving a lot of trouble to the enemy team. Just cutting their towers down and just taking map control and just teleporting into Roshan. And now they pick up a gem. They're gonna go push down middle. I think they had enough of red. When you have enough of red, just push down one lane. That's all you need to do. They should have done that a while ago before the BK, the, before the Aegis comes online for the enemy. But now, what's he gonna pick up? No, he's just gonna kill Prophet. Yep, dunk him! Dunk him! No, 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 no! Oh man, dunk him! Go back to the well! That would've been funny. That would've been real funny. Uh, but now, ice, ice, ice. He's got his Necro 3. Enchantress, it's got his Necro 1, disgusting team DKR nowadays, very disgusting. They used to be a talented team full of skilled players, but now they are rodents with two very large front teeth. And here we go, Prophet going to be baiting out here. They're going to try and take fights, but no, they're just going to be ratting here with Necro units constantly just pushing them back. I think Tongfu must be slamming their desk at this point here. And Ice Ice is going to hit down, lead the charge here with Mushi. They're going to look for a kill here. No. Kabu could be caught out. Could be caught out, will be caught out. Yep, we're gonna get caught out. Cold snap on him, hello. Gonna get banished? Why would you banish that? Slark's gonna join the fun here. Someone's gonna get doomed here. Instant stomp on Kabu. So Kabu's gonna drop down. So the banish didn't actually mess things up. Slark tried to go in there for help, but no. Uh, they're gonna get a kill now, and now they're gonna push. So, gonna come back here, and they're gonna win. And just because of this rat strat, you just can't support rat at this point. And Mu is going to heal himself up. And now they're going to march down with the whole zoo. Here we go. Entry Radiant is free. Fortified. Radiant's bottom tower Entry is free. They're going to try and convert some of it, but it's going to be too little too late. And now Cold Snap. Oh, that's going to really hurt uh, Zou there. Zou loses a lot of his health. He uses some of his... Use some of his stick charge to bring him back up, but the wrath of nature just blowing everything up. And that's gonna convert to Necro 3. Gonna be charging towards them. And another Necro 3 gonna be coming out as well. So the entire DK just using the Necro 3 threat that we are all very used to in Dota 1 that was actually banned in some tournaments. Some tournaments banned the use of two or more Necro books, which is something I think can be encouraged here. And Necronomicon all around. Kabu. Chopping down this creep wave and 75 now XP graph, 5000 in favor, 3000. So DK just not overextending, they have plenty of patience. And so is about to run out of some. I can imagine, I would run out of some as well if I would like that. Now, push this MMY. Be chipping away at this ancient golem, get some more farm on the bot. Once he has his acronym scepter, that's even more rats to the friend. Oh, their body burning, burning, burning. Ah, oh, damn. They didn't know. Burning tried to cliff jungle there, he nearly got killed. But in the end, Mushi. Let me find a small camp here. Oh, burning, burning. Bye bye, burning. Gets the first hit bash. Burning to get duck packed up, but he's out of mana. It's always out of mana. Where is my. Uh, where is the um, drum of endurance? How much mana does this thing burn? 75 per hit, that's more than AM. Hmm, nice job, uh, nice dodge there. And the mana burn here is 225, so it really burns the mana really quick. The book's stronger than anti mage. Andy has a lot to learn. Watch spirits, they're gonna be farming here. They're just gonna sit on their ages for a long, long time. Burning. Might as well cool down in a while now. And the net worth is still favoring Zhou. Zhou has been farming a lot here. He's going to go for Abyssal very, very soon. And once that happens, he will be able to blow up some heroes. But before. Oh, nice. I like this Shadow Blade pickup. Picks up the Shadow Blade. He's going to do some. Nature attend us. He's going to do some assassination. But now, that's going to be the dunk. Let him get dunked again. And he's going to go down. Moves on a killing spree. All three kills. All on Enchantress. And now, so. Give it up for Oscar! Tower is under Don't lie, your name is LeBron James. 
Invoker is going to TP back to the tier 2 nearest to him. And so it's going to heal himself up after bringing down this range, uh, this siege creep. Meanwhile, burning just being a pure red. Mushi is going to come in here, try and banish up Habu. He will banish up Kabu for extra. And now a lot of Necro units going to be summoned here. Going to be Sprout into retreat. LeBron James, are you up for this? Nope. You might actually need to get a basher at this rate. Zedus MJ. Four stuff on him, Medallion as well, no mechanism because Radiant's the Doom Guard is ready. And BKB denied. has been finished, Denied Tower is still a tower lost. And at this point, if they stop, if they don't push, they could be in a lot of trouble. Enchantress picks up the book number two. Mu? What is happening in my chat? And Mu is going to be flame spearing the creep wave down the middle lane. Get himself the next item on the board, 30 seconds left. On that Aegis Immortal of the Immortal there. Oh, so gonna get burned up here. Nice kill there by Isai Size. He just full comboed him up. Deafening Blast kills me. I think even without the setup from Cyclone. So very, very well done by Invoker. Not enough time. I think he just waited for To to use his Dark Pack. To. Yeah, waited, to, uh, waited for To to use his Dark Pack uh, to farm there before blasting him with the Deafening Blast. So enough damage, it would seem. Great play from Isai Size solo kill. He loses his ages now and he gets a full top up on his mana with an unnecessary regen rune to boot. And Huska. Come, come. Now burning. Necro 3, Necro 2, going for Necro 3 as well. Very, very, very hard to stop this Zook Rush. Where are the Earthshaker picks? I don't know, it wasn't even banned, the no Earthshaker picks. And now Shan Ching will have to toss out a Fate Bolt. So many units and none of these are heroes. None of these are heroes, and you're just dropping down low, you're not going to be able to do anything, and your tower will just attack. fall like rain, sun strike. Oh, really? 360! No scope! But then, who is? Who is? Yes, indeed, who is? How much longer can you keep this up? The zoo is going to be pressing at your door, they're going to ask for donations, and... Pull roots and run. They're going to take money from your towers, that's for sure, they'll break down your door. And eventually, they'll get to your base, and your Ancient will just blow up in rage. Burning! Now going for a Scythe of Vice, making what is in his hand actually active. Ice Ice Ice, going for the same thing. Intel Gaming. So even if Rubik steals the Sanity's Eclipse, it's gonna do nothing. So, Shadow Blade, Moshi gonna get caught. First hit bash! Now that is the RNG at hand. So is gonna self, uh, gonna BKB, but that's four seconds of his BKB lost there. It's gonna be an instant lift there. Sun strike on the land. Mushi gonna be caught out. Is there a pounce? Is there a pounce? Body blocking from my side side. Great body block here. Gonna save Mushi's life. And that's gonna be a tornado. It's gonna catch him out. There is no running away. The shadow blades will not save you, but he will. Just kidding. And now it's gonna be a conversion. Gonna convert one of those necro units. But how many of the zoo can you convert? And now move. You want to try dunk into this? That's gonna be one pull of very very hard water. And now burning comes into here. Dunk me. And yeah, he gets dunked. And now, move, dropping very low, punished for his sins. BKB on Doombringer, they are just using 3KBs to run, munching on creeps as they come along, but burning a little bit of a crazy dive there. ROTK teleportation and DK. Now 9 and 7, they may not kill a lot of stuff, but they kill your base. All your base are belong to us, and now more units coming in, and it's gonna burn down. That one will take, will give Boo a whole bunch of damage going his way. And Mushi. Here, dunk, yep. Running out of things to dunk, so why not just dunk the creeps? Getting real tired of your shit, zoo. And. Necronomicon. Two. I mean, so. Gonna be farming here. Gonna look towards this Abyssal Blade, but I'm not so sure it's enough. They don't really have a lot of crowd control here. Really need a Legion Commander at this point. Really needs a re Legion Commander. Oops, Slug gets himself banished. Roshan's gonna sneeze. And very nice BKB oh, timing there. He's gonna jump out. Oh, the dunk does land on Nature's Prophet. So Nature's Prophet gets brought down. BKB used defensively. Uh, not so sure about that. Mushi gonna get spotted out here. Mushi, Mushi, Mushi. Gonna drop his zoo. Now BKB. They're gonna try and steal Roshan. Do Pentagram on Mushi. Die! 
and that Mushi will die indeed. Slot gonna chip him away with the, the slump stuff, and we'll kill him off. Duck Pack gonna come out here. Is there gonna be a Shadow Blade? No mana for any of that. And they're gonna use the drum charge. Nope, impenses to the back, and he's gonna fall. 11 to 8 there, they get the kill, but they get another Aegis. Invoker picks it up. Where's the cheese? The cheese is on him as well. So, eyes, eyes, eyes. I want all the lives, and not gonna engage at all. Burning is gonna die. 11 to 8 now. Mu. Still continuously farming, has a reaver, going for the heart now, Roshan has fallen for the third time this game, 33 minutes in, and we'll see what else does happen here, Zeta's MJ with the 4 star, Vladimir's just setting up for that big one time push all the way and crush the red, the red lair, and Cypher Vice is ready for SSI, and I'm sure that, I'm not so sure they can actually deal with this, OD, that's the book, 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 birds, so... Gonna be real tough. There's an ace room bottom. Kabu, plate mill on him. Mu has the heart of Tarask now, so he's gonna regen up a lot of his HP, 60 per second. And but now he's attacking. He's getting attacked there. The smoke does come out. So the whole DK gotta go. 420. Let's go. You know, fist bomb each other. Cliff jungling come out from burning, but he's just having fun at this point. He's gonna use the. Uh... This is really new meta. Next level wards and Mu oh Mu gets hacked. Sun strike to follow and it's definitely blast. He will hit him and puts us once and puts us twice. Gets him brought down. Ice ice ice. We'll kill him off and it's dominating streak. Kabu is gonna get grave chill. It's gonna be a little bit chilly. He's gonna try and counter react that with Scorch Earth and he'll get that. And now he's gonna have a lot of where you're going. A lot of flowers following him now. Slark. Get a little bit caught. It's gonna get caught by the familiars. Yeah, he's a pig. He's a pig. But now he's gonna get sent back by his friend. And the Chen will save him out there. Rubik's bounce is going all around the place. Zika, 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 zika. And look at this. How Radiant is this fair? Where's my Legion Commander? Really, really need that right now. And the whole entire zoo descends upon the Tongfu base. And this looks to be too. Oh, oh, Sun Strike! Nearly getting him there. D BKB, the Doombringer goes in there. Radiant and there's a Latrio on Latum. Latum, once again, gonna be caught by Mushi. Saves his life. Nice. Gonna stall up the BKB charges. And now the BKBs go down. And it's gonna be a lot of trouble. The spin comes out. Gonna catch Doombringer at the end. Does he die from the drop? No, he does not. He is tanky enough. But the Rex goes down. And Radiant's still, somehow, they don't ever fall. run out of Necro units. Radiant's the mid Rex falls 11 to 9. Ice Wall to cover the retreat. And just perfect execution from DK. They just strike, they run, they destroy you with a whole plethora of units. And you are unable to do anything. Now with three familiars as well, Sun Strike to follow. Oh, he's gonna miss there. So the Sun Strike not gonna hit. Move. The LeBron James not working out for him. And oh, ZSMJ dropping real low. Eight charge eight eight stacks of minus armor from the Fort Spirit. Sun Shang gonna steal up Fort Spirits and try and do a little bit of that on his own. But now DK very very far ahead. Aegis reclaimed in three minutes. No casualties lost. Even Lanham surviving there with the mushy. Needs an Earth Shaker, needs my Legion Commander. Legion Commander is in, uh, is available in Dota 1, so not so sure when Valve is going to port her over. Maybe after the alcohol from Christmas wears off. Uh, we'll see. Kabu, meanwhile, going to meet a whole bunch of units here. Bushi, going to solo push this. And Sun Sheng. You can't blame them, it's the Grand Finals. You do whatever you can to win. You just don't get any more fans. 2,000 fans compared to the 8,000 fans. So 10,000 people watching Red along with the rest of you guys in chat. <clears throat> now Sunshine. Oh, no need for that. I got him. MMY says, got him. And Oscar Duncan. Nope, Duncan Donuts. Gonna get a banish there. OD. This is where the fight starts. Stun once, stun twice, stun thrice. But Ice Ice gets doomed here. There's gonna be a buyback here from Rubik. Where is my second dunk? Three seconds left on the dunk. Burning could get a lot of fire on him. Fire is good against Grass. MMY gonna have a lot of trouble now. Shift, shift once, and the pounce, the dark pack will get him. Ages to respawn, and now the rats are getting a lot of hurt on them. Dunkle Mushi. Ice Ice is running away, drops a meteor on everyone. That's gonna be a jump of true sight on the ground. Where are they gonna stun him? Are they gonna stun him? West is level death, not gonna find it. And now Mushi. And yeah, no, not Mushi. Lanham's gonna get caught here by Shan Cheng. That's gonna be an Enchantress slow. Oh, Rubik enchanting. Enchanting the Enchantress. Very, very cute. And now Lanham is going to be blocked off there. But now Penitence, you will pay for your sins. Oh, Gets dear. doomed with the level death. And... Put you to ashes. Put you to ashes. No one wants to kill that. You're still going to take that. You kind of have... You have to have to, have to be responsible for that. Now DK lose four heroes. This is the time for Tong Fu to push. Push, push, push. Go for it. It was technically a full team wipe if Aegis wasn't on Invoker. But now he's looking to do some funny stuff. 
on his uh, on his hero, and you really see he has so many units here along with the forest spirit. It's gonna spin him up in the air, and it's gonna try and drop the sun strike on him. Nope, this is a little bit tanky. He's trying to get a solo kill on his own with the facade familiars, and they will try. Uh, but will they be able to get it? Drop the familiar once, dropped it twice. <clears throat> I think he will mess up his combo there, so he will not get the kill. The mechanism coming out, and Isaac is being extremely brave right now. There isn't anyone that can really catch up to him, so he's not gonna try it. So a little bit lower mana. Could go for the Shadow Blade, run into run into Eyes Eyes while Sunshine now solo defending this. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Got to send him back and do bring a. Um, can I pick up his Shiva's guard now? 1.3k on him. Does he have buyback? We're gonna check out all the buyback statuses. Yes, buyback statuses. Own. Okay, not a lot of people um, have the buybacks. Enchantress doesn't have it. Rubik doesn't have it. Od as well. As Doom don't have it, so Doom needs a little bit more gold, about 116. Mushi needs 400, so just a good team fight going its way. If he gets blown up right now, no. But Ice Ice is sitting more than comfortable right now. Ultimate Op number two. This is most likely his Shiva's card, and we'll see what else he goes from here. Sun Sheng with the four staff Embracer 027. This game has been really slow. DK just stalling it up and doing the slow push to death with the Necro units. And not feeling any remorse or shame so far. Shadow Blade you're gonna come out, coming out here. They will get spotted out. Ice Ice is gonna back off now that the meteor has landed. It's gonna crush the entire wave. And it's gonna be a little bit warm for Slark as well. Necro units, munch, convert. Yes, get it converted. They get a whole bunch of that. Wait for the assault Kuras. I'm not so sure Tongfu can take this late game. Uh, but we'll have to see here. They really need something like a Sven to just cleave through everything. But now, there's Necro units chopping away at Ice Ice Ice. How'd you like that? He says. But in the end, it's only one Necro unit. It's not enough. It's a little bit too little. Oh, Prophet comes in here, hexes up onto the Doombringer. Doombringer in trouble. Is there gonna be a 4 stop? That's gonna be a 4 stop, I think. Yes, that's gonna be a 4 stop into a sandbag. Where's the sandbag? Where's the sandbag? Is that SMJ? No, they're not going to push the issue on Doom. So, no sandback on him. The Wrath of Nature, the Ice Wall to cover up the retreat. Maybe Slug might want to look towards something like Cleave, Mjolnir. Because this is not working out for them. The next Roshan is going to be appearing soon. And you see this clock. Roshan, going to be appearing soon. Moo. The Slater up on burning. All towards the tower. All towards the downing of towers and squall, as well as right clicking, it's all like the perfect formula to get those games on the board. Mushi. If this goes 2 0, they might do something fancy, we'll see. Shan Sheng, gonna farm up this, uh, farm up the potato, get that hellbear as well. Oh, he enchanted, he enchanted the. Enchanted the Invoker Forge Spirit, so that's very nice. Enchant is a pretty nice spell to have. Now the Fate Ball is going to fly, taze up the Creep Wave, it's still a mid Rex lost, and it's still a tough, tough one to deal with. And now the Forge Spirits, we'll see this. Isaac has just been doing a lot with the units, uh, there is not his hero. This hero is just going to be sitting back, casting spells from afar, just like an artillery, and his foot soldier is going to be in front, and now they'll spot out this. They're gonna drop an observer just to destroy an observer, which is very funny. Radiance I mean, Roshan will spawn it the longest attack. possible time, one of the longest timings here. And guess what? The zoo's in town again. Sunshine, Gem as well as a bracer on him. I think it's time to talk about other things. Birding. 0 3 and 3. He has been doing nothing but destroying towers. That's all he's been doing. The net worth 20k, 18k on Invoker. And they're just going to sit around, so now they're going to twiddle their thumbs, twiddle their toes, read a book they've read many times before, and just try and wait for the next ages. And I really hope Tongfu contests this, because otherwise we are set for another 20 minutes of game. BKB, Shadow Blade, where's your Abyssal Blade? I'm not even sure Abyssal Blade can buy him any more uh, space in this game. 1 minute 15 seconds on Roshan. Moo just gonna be farming here. The um, Husker pick has been eh, rich uh, against this, and now it's a Scardi. Wow, he sure farmed a lot of money. So it's gonna be a Scardi here for Slark. Uh, nothing too surprising. The Basher just to stop any of those DPs. He doesn't really want the damage. He just wants the tank ability. So he picks up the Scardi, which is kind of understandable. And now they're gonna push down the middle lane. 
And meanwhile, Lanham is still gonna use. He has cheese, so he's gonna use some of his creeps. Can I do some pushing? Mushy, and uh, no, Ice 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 as well as burning up top. Ice 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 in Ghost Walk is now, now at the max level, so he doesn't have any movement speed reductions. Sky just clearing the creep wave there, not trying to take any direct fights. Kabu getting bigger and bigger. He has a blink dagger as well, so now he has to blink into the hoof stomp, uh, which is what you want. You want more initiation, more stomps. And Ice 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 still sitting in a ghost walk. It does. It does last for a full minute now, so. Oh, hex him up, so in trouble. That's gonna be four spirits as well. There's gonna be an instant follow up hex here on Joe, and so, hand of God, it's not gonna be enough. He stays a pig, dies a pig. And, well, that was a nice gank here from my size size 15 to 11. He was just waiting so long. There's a camper, so noob camper report, please. Medallion up on to Roshan, and this is no buyback for Sloth because he bought his he bought his Skadi, and he will not be able to get this. So, just sniping people from across the board. Uh, with the profit on the hex as well, so hex into a teleport hex is just great. Easy, easy kills for them. And now Roshan will go down second, uh, fourth ages of the game plus a second cheese. Roshan has fallen to the dark. This time Visage picks up the ages, so all of them pretty much six slots at this point. And Mushi picks up a blink dagger, the blink into hex is a triple hex. There's another. Oh, it's gonna be an agony scepter. So Lanham's gonna be dealing the deeps. And it will be Intel oh. Gaming. Scardi is done for uh, Ice Ice Ice, and this time they're gonna go for the death push. The 30 seconds there on no buyback, so 15 to 11. XP graph, this could be the nail in the coffin. The zoo comes knocking, and hello, bye bye towers. If you guys haven't seen Evaporation, this is it. This is it. Soul Assumption. As well as Death and Glass gonna go. Shiva's gotta try and slow it all down. Radiance gonna be a hex. Moon's gonna be four star back. EMP as well. Gonna burn all the mana, denies the tower even. Has been he denies the tower, but it's a small victory. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Oscar should just man up Duncan. But this is not working out for them. The next time the Rex will fall. And now that the DL3 is down, the gold 7,500. Lacrity on the Necro Archer. Now he's gonna be strafing it like a clings. S strafing with 200. Making clings look pretty bad, actually. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Hex! Bye bye, Moon. I don't know what they were doing there. Pushes him into the Sun Strike, and now Kabu wants to take revenge. But what are you going to walk through this? Ice 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 just taking all the slow, slow pokes here and there. And there's really nothing you can do if you get Hex right away. And now Slock, he passes on to Ice Ice Ice. He says, Take this, bash on the first hit. Well done. And Mushi tries to save his life. They say, Ice Ice Ice, you're up to this loan. A little bit of a failed up there. And now the Aegis, not gonna lob there because he's out of Aegis. Dominating streak ended there. They see Mushi. Pentagram! And they will find him. Mushi in trouble. Where is this guy going with the Shiva's Guard? Nope. Mushi is gonna get doomed. He's gonna get slowed by the Shiva's Guard. The Ghost Walk is gonna find him. Now Mushi, he runs all the way in. Now he gets caught. He gets surrounded. He's gonna die. He gets stomped on the face. They're gonna probably just dry hump him. But we'll see. Maybe after the game, because they're really mad at the reds, and well, I'm sure most of you Radiance guys are as well. Especially if you're bad reds in Tong Fu, there are a lot of reds to be won. DK are just trying their best to secure those for their fans. 8,100 of them, as well as you guys Healing in chat. Power. So, middle gonna go into chat a bit here, looking for a pick off, and will he find it? Yes, he will. Hello, MMY, first hit bash! Moo, ho, ho, so RNG master right here, and he will find it. Ages to pop as well. What a way, what a use of the ages. Prophet actually gonna come in here to help. Will he? Nope, MMY gonna get caught, stomped in the face, his wings will be crushed, gem will be picked up, is this a comeback? No, burning, doing a bulldog, pushing up the top racks, don't TP back for this, please, please, stream from the tower. And so, it's Lyle Scotty, what the first hit bashes, man. And now it's gonna be a sandbag. Regeneration for Enchantress. bottom tower is under attack. So, praying to the RNG gods. RNG gods do not like rats, that's for sure. Except maybe Bulldog, because he always gets those first hit roots as well. But that's because he buys cosmetics. Radiant's that's not because of RNG Dyer's gods. He buys cosmetics. He's paid to win. And now move! Duncan from up high! Burning, gonna get burnt, gonna get wrecked. Enchantress, you're next. Enchantress, you're next. You're next. Enchantress, you're next. Yes, you are next. Let's get caught out all the time. New battle strategy, guys. Gonna get owned 20 to 12. All key heroes dead. And well, do we see a comeback? Die Reds Dive, Haskell on the road to a 100% win rate. Undefeated in China, Haskell, let's go. Woo. 
Ooh, look at that swag. And now Zed is MJ, double damage. Flats on him. Now they're gonna push. Now they're gonna mess around. There's 40 seconds left on the Prophet, 28 seconds on the Enchantress. And DK might have a little bit of problems protecting their Rexes here. I, I would say if they win a team fight, they just go straight for Throne. They don't want to deal with this nonsense. Ice Wall is gonna keep them out for just a moment. But how long does the Ice Wall last? Walking through the Ice Wall doesn't help Dyer's because it gets reapplied right away. Rubik attack. jumps in there with a YOLO lift. They're gonna get Doom. Are they gonna get a Doom? Nope, they're gonna banish up. Ice Ice Ice. Nature's Prophet buys back into the game. This could be big. Ice 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 gets caught out. Does he have buyback? Yes, he does. He does. Bandits of Dunk onto Ice Ice Ice. Bye bye, Ice Ice Ice. You got evaporated. MMY as well. All the BKBs don't go in there anymore. They're gonna back off. Move. Gonna get it. He's gonna get hexed up. This could be bad. Push him away. Push him away. Sunstrike to follow. He's gonna get caught in the Sunstrike. But now, Duma Mushi. No, but he gets vanished. Nature's Prophet. Slot gonna get caught. He's gonna jump away into Shadow, Shadow, Shadow Blade form. But no. There comes the tornado. He's gonna dispel that. And hello, Zoo. Gonna pounce him away. Old oh, Zoe. So run away. The Ice Wall. Gonna catch him there. Dark Pack to follow. But a TP. You can't. Run from the rats, they will swarm you, and they will find you, and you will die. So now Tongfu, they try to push into the base, they got a little bit overzealous there, forced out a couple of buybacks from the Prophet as well as the Invoker. If only they can buy back now and fight this, they have a chance, they have buyback. Okay, so now, if they buy back, and they fight, and they win, they can win this, because Invoker as well as Nature's Prophet have no more buyback. So we're gonna keep them buyback counter now. Only buyback on Mushi, so the rest of them, all the key heroes, all the key players in this matchup doesn't have buyback. And we'll see what happens now. Huska? Huska is gonna pretend he has no buyback. Oh, Radiant Dunk Master 2000. Are under attack. Sunstrike on Sunshine. Gonna steal that Sunstrike as well. He's gonna blink to the side there, drops a counter Sunstrike. Oh, what a stun here from Kabu, yeah. but why are you doing that? He's gonna back off, he's gonna die. A little bit of 3 2 2 coming up from the Doom, he's gonna say, Hey, I'm gonna use my buyback, I wanna use it now. And I'm gonna die. And now you're gonna have a lot of problems with your Rex. Where's my Glyph? No Glyph? They're not gonna save this Rex now. They're BKB, pounce on in. Where's my Pantagram? Now Ice Ice Ice, you really have to kill him. He has no buyback, must kill Ice Ice Ice. Kill Daryl Cole, and no, you don't kill Daryl Cole because why you left the gem on the ground? And now you don't kill them. You lose a lot of EKB charges. Huska not buying back there. Probably doesn't have to buy back. Yeah, he doesn't have to buy back. Gets a hex. Profit will go down. That's no buyback for the Profit. So something will not fly. Don't want overdive this Mushi. Gonna run here. Are they gonna lose their Rex? Is, is the question. MMY gonna be heading down to Bob. They really want to get this bottom Rex. And now, so. He's gonna try this, he's no BKB, he has, gets another bash on the first hit there, test of faith by Munch on the mozzarella, and he will stay alive. And now, Huska, they're going for the Mega Creeps, now's the Glyph, they're going for the Mega Creeps, Zoo is in town, they really want to get Mega Creeps, I think they will, Mega Creeps, Mega Creeps, Mega Creeps, there we go, Mega Creeps, where's the YOLO now, we need the YOLO, Huska really doesn't have buyback, I didn't see that earlier, I saw the gold on him, but Dian now has Mega Creeps, we'll see how So handles this, but now, the rats have succeeded in their goal. The glyph on the top lane was a little bit slow, I must say. Very, very slow. And it cost them the top rex. It let the enemy go there for a while. And a 3 to 2 Doom, of course, uh, going there without his gem of true sight. And now, with the mega creeps on board, I don't think they can win this anymore. Tong Fu, gonna drop two games to DK. We'll see if there's any miraculous plays, but I doubt it. There's buyback in three minutes. There's Roshan in a couple. But, well, the rats. They prevail. Mega Crips. 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 Well. Tong Fu. Oh, look at this. Joe going for the Mom of Madness. Mom of Madness. Come on. Get something done. Mega Creeps are pushing into your base, no one to hunt, they're all just gonna stay in base and wait for you to die. Enjoy playing in Defense of the Ancients now. It's times like these where it makes you really wanna uninstall Dota and just rage quit on life because this, these kinda of games are just so annoying. 52 minutes and only to get Mega Creeped by Creeps. Moon, Heart of Tarask, Crystalis, Omelette. Why would you buy such a pussy item? You really need to go for the DR. But it's still not so bad, and Chantress actually kills off Slug. GG! So, he pops the Mom of Madness, dies, and says GG. So, GG, well played. And Mushi with the celebratory smoke. Alright, everyone, share the joints! And Roshan will be spared a fifth death in this game. 22 to 19 DK! Well, well, well. 
Not the most honorable of kills, but it's a kill nonetheless. So it's 2-0 in favor of Tong Fu. This grand final is heading to a disastrous, disastrous conclusion. Tong Fu, will they pull back in another game? Will they bring it to five games? Or will they just drop out three? Oh, here after a very demoralizing defeat. Well, one thing's for sure, we will be seeing an invo uh, profit ban most likely in the next game. Alright, see you guys. I'm Lysander Zanara. Gonna be coming back with game number three. If you like my casting, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, and follow BTS for more updates of our future events. And I'll be right back with game number three. With more reds incoming. Be right back. I need to take a long yawn. Much love and cap.